pilotized Matt Prothero of Osprey's Flying Machines. You achieved a very unique feat when he played together during the win over Edinburgh. Can you tell us what that was, please? Take the floor, I'll take it away, shall I? Um, yeah, it was a, uh, obviously me and Jilo grew up playing together, but we had uh, he was the first, no, sorry, it was the second professional game we'd played together, but it was the first ever start, which we'd had since we were 15, I think. Uh, 15, playing at one other rugby club. So you know, it was a it was a pretty cool milestone to be able to, uh, especially being back three, you know, catch the ball, counter attack, and seeing your old mucker on, you know, to the right of you. So it was good. You were right. Do you remember about playing yeah. with? Uh, do you remember about playing with Prof? Um, yeah, he, he hasn't changed one bit to be honest. With you. Um, like always, that quick, quick. Uh, he was one of the quickest in school. I remember in school we used to uh, used to be uh, used to be like races and stuff in the in the yard. I mean, Prod would always try and avoid <laughs> avoid each other races. Race. We never want to be beaten. So um, yeah, it's, obviously it's, it's nice. Um, like Prod said, obviously looking up and having Prod next to uh, who obviously um, growing up playing with and can read him like uh, like a book in in the. Was there one game you remember back then that you played together? Oh, there was a f well because we weren't just because um, we were in the same school as well and and outside of school we'd like hang out a lot. It was mainly um, we played a lot of school games together. Mm. There was one game probably. Um, it was I think it was like the Ospreys Cup. It was called back then. We were younger yeah, and we played yeah. a semi-final game, which was actually my last game. I didn't play the final, but we who we play? I think it was like Swansea Uplands or something. I just um, I just remember um, there was one moment where I think me and Keelan went 95 metres of the field. It was like a cross kick, e catch inside, back to me, back to him, back to me, back to him, <laughs> school. So it was like That's reminiscent of what we saw <coughs> against Edinburgh. There was a moment of there, real electricity, where the supporters yeah, got very yeah. excited. Did you feel that? Quite but, uh, well, yeah, it was obviously, like you said, that reminiscing, um, obviously uh, going down the touchline with Prov. Um, Unlucky that the the kick didn't come off, but yeah, it was nice. Uh, it was a nice little moment. Obviously, uh, probably put me through, and then having him on on the inside of me. What positions do you play back then? Yeah, back then it was different. I was I was outside half back then, mm. and Keelan was on the wing. But I I'd either miss out the four blocks that were in the middle of me to get the ball to Keelan, or I'd just do a cross yeah. kick, and I know he classic he, cross yeah, kick. Yeah, or like he'd be, uh, he'd be on the end of it, so. But um, yeah, no, I remember when like the Edinburgh game, we had uh, like, the ball came down. Stevie gave me the ball, and my first instinct was to turn around and have a kick because of where it was in the field. And I saw Keelan had reloaded, and I was like, "No, nah, we're going yeah. And then uh, as soon as I did, I knew he he was just holding his space. And then as soon as the winger came in, he went and when he kicked the ball, it just brought flashbacks of us when we were younger, just us two herring down the touchline. So yeah, it was pretty cool. So when you were pounding the mean streets of the wine, who was the quickest? I generally, I don't know to this day, I'll be honest with you. I, I also say to this day, like even when we were in school, we'd be, like I know it sounds childish, but even in school we'd be like, we'd have races against everyone. Yeah. I mean, it would never go against each other just because we didn't want to be the loser. <laughs> don't want to um, lose the number one spot. Or yeah, like, exactly. Two, yeah. Like. But, um, no, I'd say now, if I had to put a bet on it, I'd say, Gilo's quick at top end and like jinking and going. I may so have the right. upper hand on like a swerve. Yeah. 100%. Like like not slowing down, but I think I think top end he'd uh, he'd uh, put me to the post one.